Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. Back after a little bit of a break with some mods that have been released this week or over the past couple of weeks. We're starting with the reskins of the Alexander ALX 400 and just pulling in behind is the Leyland Olympian which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. But the original model of both of these done by CW315 and the, both of the reskin packs have been done by DV64MLO who is becoming quite prolific on Transport Fever 2 now with loads of bus reskins and this is the, well this is one of the Stagecoach reskins done. This is the brand new livery that's been applied to the Stagecoach buses and must I don't know if I'm a fan of this um, livery if I'm honest but it is DV6 has done a good job of it, but I just don't think I'm a fan of the, the actual livery itself. But it's even got the stagecoach colouring inside with the seats, the handrails and everything. I'm not sure if, if that's part of the original model bus pack, of the original model pack, but yeah, it, it all matches anyway. So we've got that one. We do have a whole host of other stagecoach liveries as well. So that's it's good to see. We've got a nice big variety of ALX 400s now and we do have a huge variety or we will have soon a huge variety of Olympians as well. I think there are even more reskins in the works. So this is one of the very, this is like the first, before the first Barbie. So this is the first when they went to the pink and purpley blue colour uh, which was applied to these ones again with the matching seats and handrails and everything's kind of accurate. It's just a good, good reskin of a already very good model. So it'll just take a little minute to appreciate that. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good looking thing there. So we'll take, we'll go into the depot because there are a few available for this. Uh, so let's go into the buy vehicles. So then we've got, we got the Alexander LX 400. The stagecoach group pack is in its own pack, basically its own section. So you've got all the varieties. You know, the Stagecoach Unibus, Stagecoach Stripes, so that's, an, that's a classic one, isn't it? Uh, Orange, 20, 2020 Orange, not sure what that one is. Brooke, uh, Brooks Bus and the Stagecoach Group Pack, I think that's the Stripe, isn't it? Might be slightly different, don't know, but yeah, there, there, there. And then if we go down to the Olympian again, it's got its own ECW DV64 pack, which just has tons and tons of different ones. So it's got the first original livery and then you got the first Barbie. I'm not sure if the first Barbie was applied to the Leyland Olympian. It probably might have been at some stage in its career. I've got uh, Midland Red, loads of Midlands, NBC. Yeah, there's just there are absolutely tons <laughs> of skins available in this pack. So that is that's good to see. From buses we're gonna move on to some Assets. If you go down, I've just plonked in a station here, just to have a look. But it didn't. It didn't really need a station. But I thought I'd plonk one in anyway. So we have these are the UK modern assets by James T85 Gaming, and this provides you with a whole host of assets. It's even got its own James T85 Gaming tab. If you go into the landscaping and then assets, and then it's just there. It's just the one icon. But then on the right hand side where it says settings, you can select what mods you want. Now I don't know if there are any arms on which to support these things. I can't see it. If I click on all of them you've got this kind of standard departure board here which you know if you just it'll go it'll probably be underneath the platform to begin with possibly you can just go up a page up and page down or whichever one you've got to raise and lower. I've, I've always got mine to page up and page down because that's what I'm, I've always been used to basically. So And then you can just plonk that there and it looks like we've got ourselves a display board which is pretty cool. And then you've got this modern looking departure board. This will need something, obviously you can't hang it off catenary, but it does need something to hang off like a roof structure or something. I just can't see it within that. And then you've got a ticket machine as well. Plonk that again. Just you zoom in as close as you can and then if you page up and pay or raise and lower it basically until it starts to sink into the ground then place it and then you can have it on the platform we've got a station sign these might look a little bit too big to begin with but you can here you can actually scale them so if you scale it down first the width and then if we scale the height to exactly the same 
it will make it look a little bit better so you can actually scale these I guess it helps to have them big to begin with just because otherwise it might get a little bit lost when you're actually placing them so place those down then we've got a vending machine which we've got here again I've just done this with the uh, with the width and height making that look a little bit smaller just I think it would probably help if you had passengers just to try and scale it visually because I think the standard one it does come quite big like that I think even a hundred percent so 100% scaling, let's see, no, 100%, 100% possibly might be a little bit too big. So if you get a passenger walking by or if you just find off the street and just play around with the scale of that until you're happy with it. And then we've got ticket barriers here as well. Again, if you've got a nice big concourse, you can just place some of these on there like so. And again, I think it's something again, you again, 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 you will have to play around with the actual scale of it. And then you've got a departure actual TV screen flat screen departure board there which will need something to something to rest on so I'm not not entirely sure what you'd rest that on but it does it would maybe if you've actually got let's let's do some let's let's go let's scale that makes 100 percent go into this station here the stations with walls actually you could it's a little bit of, it takes a little bit of playing around with maybe is there a blank wall no there isn't Never mind. Take a little bit of playing around with, but what I normally find with these sorts of things, if you merge them in to whatever you're about to place it on a little bit and then spin it round until you're happy with where it sits and then just kind of push it in. I suppose we can get it. That probably would be a bit too high to read, but you get the idea anyway. Yeah, that probably would be a little, and that's probably too low. But if you do have a station or you have something on which you can put this, then uh, yeah you've at least we've got access to those so that's pretty cool if you're into your detailing then these are probably a must for any modern UK stations next we're going to move on to a steam train which is this is in the steam workshop it's just described as well it's not just a, it's got a whole description but this is the bull-eyed pacifics described as that's the name of them anyway by Steve M4 available for I think 1941 if I read the description right so these are some trains which have had some sort of streamlining applied or an attempt at streamlining applied to them to make them into high speed 100 miles per hour express trains basically it's just another another good example by Steve M4 of a steam locomotive all working correctly love or love them or hate them I don't, I'm not sure. I think they may be a bit divisive with the with the actual look of them but they 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 existed so they are now represented in the game for you to use if you so wish so there we are let that let him steam past there are different colors and variants available of this but we'll take a look in the depot in a minute once we've had a look at these which are the InCity 250 I'm not sure what, what's it called I think they're just InCity 250 reskins although in, in the mod loader it might come up as TP reskin or TPE reskin because there is a Transparent Express but there are others so we've got this one which is a cross country uh, train here I don't think cross country would ever be lucky enough to have a train as fancy as this I think they'd be lucky if even if they get class 8 800s or something way way into the future but yeah we've got got it there and then we've got another one here which with, where did i put it let's use this to find it it's that one so basically we've got a transpenine express reskin and you can build your own sets as with the standard model so you've got fixed formations but you can also build your own and i think that is very similar to the class 397 is it yeah so it's the class 397 is built by cafe it, it is on uncannily similar especially I think the black if the black was just brought down a little bit more to the nose it probably would look almost close to so if if you're stuck for a class 397 then we do have these which can kind of stand in this I've made my own set this so this is in the correct kind of five car although it does obviously the power car on the back is more of a DVT than it is a passenger vehicle but it's close enough and it's got a decent capacity of 84 as well so that's not too bad if you go into the depot go by vehicle first of all we'll look at the steam locomotives we've got the, uh, the bull-eyed here so we've got the SR West Country Light Pacific which is just a different variant and got the different colors and then you've got the Navy Pacific so we've got Navy rebuilt 
that's when uh, I think BR took over and they just decided to remove the streamlining because the streamlining was just basically nonsense I think is the gist of what I was reading so we've got yeah we've got the rebuilt there 100 miles per hour 2000 231 horsepower 167 kilonewtons of tractive effort like i said these are for express passenger services more than anything and then we've got a slightly lighter one which was based off it's just uh these were a bit too heavy to work across the whole network other than on the main lines and these were kind of the the lighter versions for other other rail routes uh 200 mile per hour top speed just a little bit less horsepower 2028 horsepower on that and if we go into the electrical multiple units we've got the standard set in c250 we've got a caledonian sleeper new caledonian sleeper first cross country east coast so that be when it was or what was it, east coast trains or whatever uh, great western grand central pullman that was already there scott rail and then you've got two trans pan Air express options that says two miles per hour i'm not what happens if i add that not sure there's something missing on the back there but if you go into electric vehicles then we do have the in city 2000 you've got all of them here in separate there are a couple that are missing but if you click on these then you do have if you go to add then we go to passenger go to mark five and then go down there is there's like a first class buffet car almost which has a capacity of i can't see what the capacity is what's the capacity where's the capacity it's hidden the capacity 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 of 15 and then further down there is a standard with 23 capacity so if you want to no 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 add so you add three of them and then there is a dvt not a dvt just a driving trailer like that so you can get a five car set which looks and kind of like the 397 on this on the diagram here it does have a yellow front end but once you've bought it it uh, it doesn't so that's just not sure what's going on there but there's a couple of these which are missing but they don't if you put them on they don't seem to load or they don't load with the textures so i'm not entirely sure what's going on there but yeah if you select that one with the yellow front end and once you put it onto something in the actual vehicle itself doesn't have the yellow front end it just has a black i think we need to unpause the game don't we there we are so yeah it's more of a black front end that's the that's the power car and then the driving trailer you see there it is black but yeah i think it's just a handy train to have especially if you are stuck for a 397 it, it will stand in looks similar enough and it looks pretty good in that livery as well so there we are gonna leave it there for today and say until next time bye bye